So before classifying the types of mechanics, okay, so we need to understand what is mean by a rigid body and what is mean by a deformable body. Okay, first we will start by defining what is mean by a rigid body. Let me consider a body like this. Okay, so it is subjected to different forces. It's subjected to moment. It is subjected to force like this, okay, or else moment like this, or a force F two, F one, different forces. A body which is subjected to different forces. You consider there is a body which is subjected to very like a large number of forces. Either large number of forces or single force. That is not an issue. But I am considering large number of forces are subjected to this body. Even after, even after application of this much amount of force and moment, like before application of the force, I am taking two points. Okay, those two points are A and B, and I am drawing a distance L. I am just joining the two points, and the distance was L. If suppose, if suppose, even after application of the force. Or before application of the forces, all the forces, all the forces, even after application of the forces, or before application of the forces, if distance between these two points, okay, distance between these two points are not going to vary, then those types of bodies are called as ridged bodies. So, what does it mean? Distance between two points, which means distance should be invariant. The distance between two points are invariant, even after application of the force or before application of the force. But the distance should not vary at all. It's simply, it's nothing but the body is not getting deformed. Okay, that is a simple definition. But uh, if you want to understand something uh, like properly, rigid body is nothing but a body where distance between two points in the body is going to be invariant or it is not at all going to change. Okay, if this distance changes. If this distance changes, then I will be calling it as deformable body. So if A B is equal to L, which is equal to constant always, then it is rigid body. If L is not constant always, then it, then it is deformable bodies. And in general, all the practical bodies which is available, all the bodies which is available is deformable body only. But um, like assume, assuming we can assume it to be rigid body. Okay, like in for example, just for analysis, just for analysis, we will be assuming it to be rigid body. For example, in uh, engineering mechanics, we will study only about rigid body. We won't worry about deformed body at all. Even if the body is deforming or if the body is not deforming, but we will assume that the body is uh, rigid. Okay, that is the, there is no change in the points. There is no change in the distance of two points. Right. Now we will proceed to. And one more example, if the distance changes, then it is deformable bodies. And in strength of materials, what we are going to study in this course, okay, in strength of materials, it is completely deformable body. We are going to study completely about deformable, deformable body only. Okay. I have taken one small example. Hmm. Just consider there is a solid block. Okay, there is a solid block. I am attaching two extensible strings. Okay, there is a strings and I am attaching those two strings to a solid block. Initially, I am not doing anything, but I am applying a force. I am applying a force P on this. Okay, there is a solid block here attached by two strings, and I am applying a force P. If I apply a force P here, this solid block is going to move down. Okay, that is obvious. That is obvious. That is the solid body is going to a solid block is going to move down. So let us consider it is moved by this much distance and. Uh, this is the final position of the solid body. Okay, this is the final position of the solid body. Before that, before application of the force, let me assume two points A, B in solid block and two points A, B in extensible string. Before this is uh, like I am I am taking two points before application of the load. Once after application of the load. This body shifted downwards. Okay, this body shifted downwards, which means this string got extended. Okay, I will represent it in another color. This string got extended, and this is getting extended to this much. Okay. Now let us assume point A reached here, A dash, and point B reached here, B dash. Just for an example. 
So let us assume, right? Now, what will happen? Or like, what is the observation which I can make? Uh, here, this distance between this two point A B, first observation, the distance between that two point A B is not going to be equal to A dash B dash, which means this extensible string is nothing but a deformable body. Okay, it is deforming. It's getting deforming. It is getting deformed. So distance between two points are not become not stable. Not uh, what is that? It's not uh, like constant. But after application of the load P, like after application of the load P, after application of the load P, this solid block shifted from this point to this point. Okay, just it is shifted from this point to this point. And if you take A and B, still the distance between A B will be same. If this is L, then this will also be L. So A B here and A B here will be same, which means this solid block is can be treated as as a rigid body and this extensible spring is deformable body. So just for an example, just for an example I given this, okay. So A B is getting elongated, small A B is getting elongated, so it is it is a deformable body. Capital A B is still remaining same, just this solid body is getting shifted downwards. So uh, that shift, that shift, uh, like it is just getting shifted, so A B distance is not changing, capital A B distance is not changing which means that body is a rigid body. Now there is one uh, like one cream from this, we need to take, we need to observe that, that is uh, we need to taste the cream of this, uh, this example. What is that? Listen, if I subtract a dash b dash minus a b, a dash b dash is nothing but the new length, like the new, new distance between uh, a and b, small a and b. A B is nothing but the older distance between A and B that will give me a value delta. Let me take it as delta and you could see this, this bottom is getting shifted by this much amount. This bottom is getting shifted by that much amount. Let me take that is D. Now, what is the difference between this delta and D? Okay, what is the difference between this delta and D? It's very simple. See, this body is just moving, okay, it is moving from this point, it is moving, it is moving from this place to this place, no deformation, right. So, this is displacement, just the motion, it is just moving from here to here, this is displacement, but this is deformation or deflection. A deflection of this string. So, solid body is just moving, so it is displacement, there is no deformation in solid body, there is solid block, it is a rigid body, but this string is getting expanded, it is getting elongated. So, here the change in length is nothing but deformation or deflection. So, that gives us an introduction to a rigid body and a deformal body, like uh, what I can say, not an introduction, it gives a brief idea about what is mean by a rigid body and deformal body. In the next topic, we will classify mechanics and we will understand what we are going to study in strength of materials. Then we will start the subject by discussing the concept one by one.